Hello my friends, Jeanette here with Vivo Vintage Designs. Welcome to today's video. In this video, as usual, I'm going to try something that I've not tried before and of course I have to share it with you. So what I have here is a mess, but let me clear this up. I have a piece of photo paper uh, taped to a cutting board that I usually use for my watercolor. But um, because I'm going to be using my heat gun, I don't want the paper to warp too much. So I'm hoping that the uh, tape will help that. We'll see. And what I have here is two bottles of very diluted ink. There's a lot of alcohol in here, but I want the colors to remain light. And again, I've not tried this yet, so let's experiment together. I want to create a flower using the technique that I use when I create my rings or um, my infinity rings. So let's see how this goes. Like I said, I have very diluted ink in here and it's a combination of colors. I can't even tell you what it is. And I have my heat gun. This is going to be very noisy. I apologize ahead of time. I thought to do a voiceover. I may still do that. Let's see how this goes. Okay, so to create the rings, I usually use this type of motion on the outside of the puddle. So it dries from the outside in. But to create these petals, what I want to do is go from one side to the other, pushing the puddle of alcohol and ink, well, of ink mixed with alcohol, from one side to the other, back and forth, instead of creating a ring. So that's why I'm using these bottles. And well, here goes nothing. I'm going to put down a line of it like this. I'm not gonna make it too big and then I'm going to blow it back and forth. And if I see it's getting too dry, I'll add a little bit more. Not exactly what I hoped, but well, let's keep going. That doesn't look much like a flower, but I'm going to keep going. Let's see what happens. Okay, so now I want to create some petals also. So maybe a little micron pen might help this. We'll see.
And what I'm finding is that there's something in here that's kind of grainy in this green, but okay, we have what is supposed to be a flower and we have a stem and now, but not a stem, two leaves. So now let's take a micron pen, not a micron pen, oh my goodness. I'm going to take a micro brush and I'm going to go into my dry palette and pick up a little bit of green on here to create a stem. So I'm just rubbing it into the, you can just put ink on the uh, micro brush and I think you'll be fine. So let's create a little, a little thing here where all the petals connect. And then I'll pull my stem down and I'll connect my leaves. Going to pick up just a little bit more ink. I think I want this a little bit darker. And now let's correct this because as you know, nothing ever looks great until, until you're finished with it. All right, so I have a micron pen. This is a 0.25 or a 0 0.1. And actually, I think I want the 20. That's a smaller tip. Give me a second while I go through 50 million micron pens to find the one that I want. Because unfortunately, you see how they have this number real nice and big there? I never noticed that. So I go by this little number here, and that's how I know what size I'm using. So I have to go through each and every one to find the one that I want. Okay, this is a 0 .005, which is a 0 .20 millimeter, I guess, uh, micron pen, and it's got a nice small nib to it. So to outline this flower, I'm just going to use my little sketchy, skippy little lines. And although I don't think it turned out perfect, I'm kind of okay with it. Not bad for a first time. We'll make this a little petal hiding in the back. And then I'll continue outlining. And then I think I might add a little bit of detail to the, um, to the leaves as well using the micron pen that is. I haven't figured out, I've seen a lot of beautiful flowers that are done with the, um, kind of using a similar technique, something obviously different because I can't seem to get it, but I thought I'd give this a try. All right, so here's one of my leaves and I'm just going to add some lines to it. some veins and trying to stay kind of with the way the lines blew out with the ink, but it doesn't have to be perfect. This one should be better. So if anyone out there knows how to get that look that I'm trying to achieve here, there's got to be a secret. I haven't discovered it yet. I keep trying. A 
let me know in the comments. I would greatly appreciate it. <laughs> this was a, a poor attempt, but I hope you enjoyed my struggle. And I hope you can shed some light on this technique for me. I would greatly appreciate it. Leave your comments down below. Check out the description box for a list of products used and links. And if you enjoyed this, um, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to, again, like, comment, or subscribe. Your interaction is very helpful to my channel, and I greatly appreciate it. All right, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.